guys, what's up? I have a kinetic novel here. A kinetic novel is like a visual novel, only I believe you don't make any choices. Um, but this is called That Cheap and Sacred Thing. I, I heard it was a good story. And um, let's, just, let's just get right into it, okay? Let's just do that. Start it right off. All right. The house is dead silent as the camera pans in. Then, suddenly, the front door bursts open. Behind it surge three cheering pretty children with neatly combed hair, straight teeth, and an unrealistic wardrobe budget. A man trails behind them, comically unable to maintain control. The camera pans through the window where a woman looks on, dotingly with an infant in each arm. Finally, the camera pans down, revealing a baby bump. It was the epilogue to a B-movie chick flick. Cheryl doesn't care how late I go to bed, as long as I'm quiet in my room. So I was surfing the internet at midnight and saw the movie was streaming, free and legal. I was like, what the heck? It might be cute. Yeah. It had a beautiful cast, but they weren't very talented. The writing needed quite a bit of help, too. I think it was trying to be a modern update of Taming of the Shoe, only they couldn't decide between a sexist or a feminist interpretation of the play. The focus of the movie quickly left the power struggle between the genders when they ran out of questionable jokes and moved into a mundane love fest. The point of that final scene was, this is how much they loved each other. Six kids worth. And I thought, very pessimis pessimistically, I realized, isn't that what this is all about? Love is such a great thing that you can make a mildly successful B-movie about it without any quality production. But all it really is is a robotic desire that ensures that our species has sex and six kids. We're hardwired to keep our species alive. Like a robot is hardwired to calcul calculate your long division, store your files, or clean up after you. Or act in movies. Androids could have acted more convincingly than the cast. Autumn! What? There's a bag for you. Miss Godfrey left it. Like a gift bag? Cheryl remembered my birthday? Wow, really? Yes. Please bring it to me. Yes. Shell turned Mary's personality off the moment we got her. By personality, I mean the program that makes a robot act like a human. So now Mary speaks in a monotone and never... Oh, monotone. Well, we'll have to consider that next time we do her voice. Monotone and never does anything unnecessary or human-like. Cheryl turned that off because of what happened with Ellie. Ellie had some personality error when she was committed to me. You see, when a robot is committed to someone, that's the person they pay special attention to. Usually it's a person they try to simulate a human relationship with. But because of the error Ellie had, Cheryl made a rule that robots aren't allowed to be committed to me. The only exception is Mary, and her personality is always turned off. She's a pretty good maid. <laughs> She's lasted us a very long time. Oh, make. It was make. I was like, I assumed made, but then like make makes sense if you're an android. My bad. It's partly because I don't even really use her. She all downloaded some My Servant software on her and that's all she does. I'm supposed to take her with me when I go out, but I never do. I felt naked the first time I went outside without one. I took Ellie with me everywhere. Like I was immature and paranoid or something. You see, my pals are part babysitter, part child's toy, part safety feature. When a parent has to leave their ch their kid alone, they leave it with their my pal. The robot can make sure the kid doesn't, uh, you know, stick their finger in a socket or put their hand on the stove. And their artificial intelligence allows them to play most kids' games. They also stay with the kid if they have to be out in public by themselves. Like if the kid has to walk home from school or something. They can access GPS to keep the kid from getting lost. They protect them too. My pals are androids that look like any other kid, so it creates the illusion that the kid isn't alone. Not only that, they're also capable of protecting the child from would-be assailants, and using force, if necessary. When kids are at school or something, the robots are usually turned off by someone on their internal trusted adults list and put in a special storage facility. It's not polite to have a my pal out when you're talking with people, you know well, say, at school or something. After all, my pals are designed to look and act like a human. Frankly, it's deceptive. But I never let anyone put Ellie away. She was always with me. Always. She backed up her hard drive on a mini disc. I, kept, I keep it hidden from Cheryl. Mary want, found it once when she was cleaning my room, but I told her to forget it was there, and she hasn't touched it since. I would be in deep trouble if she told Cheryl about it. Maybe today I'll take it with me. It's my birthday, after all. Our best friend anniversary. Autumn. 
Here is the bag. <laughs> Oh no, the Kelly robot voice. We experience it for the first time together. Thank you. Mary, this isn't a present. See, it's it's just in a pharmacy bag. Yes, but you said it was. No. Replay. There is a bag for you, Ms. Godfrey left it. <laughs> oh, you're right, I'm sorry. I opened it up. It's some kind of pills? Oh, birth control? Oh my god. Mary, she got me birth control. I see. I don't even have a boyfriend. I think she's projecting, you know? I learned from her mistake. I mean, I am her mistake. I had to learn, you know? I understand your perspective. Do you really, Mary? Do you really? Do you really? Yes. What do you think I'm saying? You do not have relationships because you fear children. Um, that's not what I meant. Just because I'm not in a relationship doesn't mean I'll avoid one. But if I were in one, I'd be careful, you know? No. No? No, I don't know. What don't you know? I don't know what you are trying to say. Oh my god, this is like the awkwardness. <laughs> Why? You fear children. Birth control prevents children. You should be happy to have it. Oh, she's moaning. Excuse me, I got a little too high pitched on that one. That's because you're making assumptions about, I mean, I don't know what I mean. I'm not, I'm ha not happy to have it, okay? Okay. Why am I even talking to you? I don't know. Neither do I. I'm going out. Throw this away. Yes. Zoe, Rick. Oh, hey, Autumn. What's up? We were... <laughs> Sorry, I almost died. We were just talking... Oh my god, it's the robots taking me over. It's taking over my vocal cords. <laughs> We were just talking about you. Good things, I had to change that voice, sorry. Good things, undoubtedly. You can tell yourself that if you want to. Ha. <sighs> Secret birthday stuff? Right. So, where's Nadia? She's running an errand. She'll be here any minute now. So, new topic? So, this morning on the news, why do you even watch the news? Yeah, that's right. It's so depressing. Hi, everyone! No, <laughs> I'm sorry, she's so... Uh. Hi, Nadia. Nadia! <laughs> I just realized I can't talk. Doing, like, I'm doing four people. Well, one's my own voice, so it doesn't count. But three characters at once. This is a disaster waiting to happen. Hey. I got the... Shh. What? Do I hear birthday secrets? I was just saying that on the news, this guy attacked an Amorbot. Nice diversion. Ah, oh, well. I'll let them get away with it. So... Yeah, another day, another armor bat gets attacked. So what? Well, okay, she screamed like they're supposed to and, and tried to escape. Luckily for the robot and the company, they were in a hotel and some employees came and stopped the guy from hurting her too much. But he did tear her arm off, so the company sued for damages. Well, duh, they're after his money, but that's not a big deal. They can reattach an arm. At least he didn't smash her face or her hard drive or anything. I thought it was weird because the, uh, the company was using the news to promote a more durable armor bot they're supposed to be coming out with. They're probably trying to market it to sadists or something. That's gross, Rick. Why did you have to bring this stuff up? It's just what came to mind. What's wrong with your mind? Wait, wait, back up. Which ones are the armor, uh, armor bots? Are they the, the um, oh, sex robots? Hey. Yeah, it's an umbrella name for the short-term sex androids! Short-term? 
Yeah, the long-term ones that live with you are eternal lovers. <laughs> Amberbots are the rental type. You mean the prostitute type? You don't have to judge. But that's what it is, right? Uh, why do people try to attack robots anyway? It seems like you're always hearing about people breaking them intentionally. I don't think people attack all rob but robots, only the androids. Especially the committed ones. Like Amorbots, Eternal Lovers, My Pals, My Servants, Guard Bodies. Right? I kind of get why they break those. Really? Why? Robot commitment is annoying, you know? They're programmed to always love you or whatever, no matter what. It kind of pisses you off. It's like, you gotta test it somehow. Will you still love me if I do this? You know? Not, not really. No, I don't. Sorry, I thought you just said sadists were gross. Yeah, what's wrong with your mind? There's nothing wrong with smacking a robot around a little. Taking a step away. Rick, I wouldn't hit a human. That's totally different. I keep changing her voice. I don't know why. I just can't. I don't know. Not to mention totally wrong. Besides, a human would be pissed. A my pal can reject you, or at least it always forgives you. That's what's annoying. My its feelings are so fake. Zoe, you don't be your my pal, do you? Shouldn't make that clear already? Yeah, when I was little, actually. I went through five in one year. What year? My 11th, I think. Puberty. Sounds like it. Autumn is still on her second. You're kidding. Wait, do you, you do mean your second this year, right? Second in my life. That's weirder than Zoe's abusive streak. You've never had one malfunction? Or want to upgrade your model? Not really. Well, I, I leave my current one at home, so there was no point. But what if you get in trouble? Right? Women who are alone are even more vulnerable now because they obviously don't have my pals or guard bodies. But it's not like I go anywhere alone. Like, I mean, I'm always either with you guys or I'm at home. So it doesn't matter too much. You probably shouldn't tell people you don't bring your my pal with you. Who cares? You guys are my fucking friends. Uh. I don't know about you, though, Zoe. You sound like an abusive bitch. <laughs> I'm just kidding, girl. Rick clearly does. Wait, what? What are you going to do with that bit of knowledge? Hey, don't look at me. You're the abusive one. That's what I'm saying. Not to people. Anyway, Nadia, thanks again for having my party at your house. Appreciate it, girl. Of course! My mom loves parties. And your house is huge. Can I have my birthday party here too? Well, sure, but there's nothing wrong with your family. I live in a trailer. Is that wrong enough for you? Uh, not that there's anything wrong with your family, Autumn. Oh, no, there is. I'm not offended at all. What? Rick, you've never met Cheryl, so you wouldn't know. I gotta do her, her I have to change her voice to something more manageable that I can, like, keep up with. She's psycho. She's nuts! And a jerk. All she does is bitch in between working. Thankfully, she works too much. But if she did come home when I had friends over, she'd totally freak out. Yeah, I made the mistake of being over once. Me too! I'm the one paying for this house and your ass. You can have people over when you get your own damn place. Are you kidding me? I had to go in for an extra therapy session after that. <laughs> yeah, I guess she thinks of me like a tenant. Is Cheryl your sister? No, she gave birth to me. Whoa. Shall we get to setting up before people start showing up? Yeah. Hurry, we got to a late start. People are going to be showing up in five minutes. Oh, here are some now. Aw, oh, heck with it. Let's set up as we go along. <laughs> All right, guys.
Oh man, that was so many voices. <laughs> it's just like back and forth. Whenever everyone is around me having fun, I'm happy. But sometimes I get this hollow feeling inside, like something's wrong. Something's missing. <sighs> Ellie. Even though she's been gone for 10 years now, I really miss her. Ellie! What is it? Close your eyes. Okay. Hey, you're following me. I always follow you. How can you tell where you're going? You see, I don't see with my eyes like you do. I have cameras that are on. Then turn off your cameras. But I'm not allowed to. Just for a moment, okay? But what if you do something you're not allowed to? What if you get hurt? I have to keep you safe. <laughs> Silly, it'll take me two seconds. What will? I'm going to leave the room, and then I'll come back, and then I'll tell you when you can look again. But you might get hurt without me. I won't! Trust me? Two seconds. Okay, I'll override my cameras. Your eyes are open! It's okay. My cameras are off. Close your eyes, too! Okay. May I turn them on now that it's been two seconds? No, stay there! I'll be right back! <laughs> Are you hurt? No, I'm not hurt. Open your eyes. And turn on my cameras? Yeah. A present? It's for you. For me? Yeah. Today's your birthday. You don't give people gifts on your birthday. No, it's your birthday too. I don't have a birthday. Yes, you do. Today is your birthday. But I'm not born. Yes, you were. You were born the day we turned you on which was my first birthday. I don't think so. I'm not a human. So, animals have birthdays, but animals are alive. I'm just a computer. Computers don't have birthdays. Well, it, it could be. An anniversary. An anniversary? Yeah, it'll be our best friend anniversary. Like married people, they have anniversaries where they give each other gifts. I know, I saw it on TV. A lady got mad because her husband couldn't remember what day it was, so he didn't get her a present. Remember? You had to explain it to me. I remember. But it's not our anniversary of being married. It'll be our best friend anniversary. So today is your birthday and our best friend anniversary? Yeah! Okay. Thank you very much. Oh. <clears throat> Thank you very much for the present. You're welcome. But I didn't get you an anniversary present. You don't have any money, silly. I know, but I still feel bad. Open it! Open it! Okay. A monster truck! Like in that book you always check out from the library. Oh, that's so cool! And it's red, too. My favorite color. Yeah, I made sure to get a red one. Thank you, Autumn. I love you. I love you, too. Hey. Hey, Ellie. Yeah? You know that movie I got for my birthday? The one we were watching just now? Yeah. Yeah, was it a good movie? Yeah. It was really old, though. Oh. It was about a man who made a puppet, and the puppet called the man father. The puppet was alive? Sort of. But he wasn't a human, and he wanted to be a real boy for his father. What happened in the end? After he did good things, the blue fairy turned him into a real boy. Sounds like a happy ending. Yeah. But it made me think. Ellie, do you ever want to be a real girl? No, I don't. Y you don't? Why not? Because then I'd have my own parents and my own house and my own pa my pal. And I have to go to school. And isn't that good? If you're alive, you could do whatever you wanted. You wouldn't have to look after me all the time. But then another robot would be your my pal, right? Well, yeah. And I'd never get to see you. We would go to school together. But that's only seven hours of the day. I don't want to be a human because then I wouldn't get to be with you all the time. I love you, Autumn. As long as I can be with you, I'm happy. Really? Yup. Ellie, why did what I do to talk to you one more time? What I would do? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> My English went out the door. Bye. Thanks for coming. <sighs> I'm kind of tired. Hey, Nadia, did Zoe go into the other room? Ah, uh, I think so. I think Rick's there with her too. All right. Well, I'll just clean up a bit. Oh, you don't have to. It's your birthday after all. Oh, thanks. There's that guy over there. Sometimes thinks he 
I think he keeps looking over at me. So whose robot is that? Huh? That hot guy over there. He's not real, right? I, though he's too handsome to be a my pal. Oh, him? He's yours. What? Yeah, they were having a promotion sale, so we all pitched in and got him for you. Happy birthday. What? He's a, a, an Amorbot, isn't he? Yeah. You guys are the best. Dang, friends. What the hell am I going to do with an Amorbot? So, that was sarcasm? Of course it's sarcasm. An Amorbot? What were they thinking? I don't want my first time to be with a robot. You don't? You do know it's my first time, right? We kind of figured. That's why we got you the robot so you wouldn't turn into a wizard. <laughs> and you know Cheryl has that rule that no robots are allowed to be committed to me. It's not like Cheryl's ever going to find out. We took care of everything. We told her that you were going to stay the night at Zoe's house. Where am I going to stay the night? I'm not sure Rick made those arrangements. Don't worry, the robot knows where to take you. Rick? Rick was in on this? Well, yeah, even with the sale, it was still pretty expensive. And since Rick has a job, we had to get him to help us out. He was surprisingly enthusiastic about it. What? I would have just had my parents get it, but they wouldn't have approved since you're only 17. I could die. You don't like Rick, do you? No, but wouldn't you be embarrassed? No. I get them all the time. Oh, that's right. Now, yeah, you know, that's you. That's not me. I just like to have fun without worrying about pregnancies and STDs and hurt feelings and stuff. Ew. I know, but I don't need sex to have fun. Well, we thought you might be hesitant about this, so we got you a mid-level escort service. Great. So you can carry on a half-decent conversation. Oh, no, it's better than that. I guess I'm being rude. They did go to all this trouble. These things aren't cheap. Can you get a refund? Well, we signed a contract. Forged my signature. Well, yeah. Uh, all right, I'll use him. You will? I'm not giving my virginity to a slab of plastic and metal, but I'll try out this mid-level escort service. Sorry to be so ungrateful about my birthday present. We should have asked. We wanted it to be a surprise. Yeah, thanks. What do I need to get him back? He's committed to you for 24 hours. After that, the commitment will automatically expire. He'll go where he needs to be on his own. 24 hours. Jeez, that's a long time. What am I going to do with him? What's the contract about? If he gets damaged while he's committed to you, you have to pay for it. That sort of thing. And lots of sex disclaimers you probably don't want to hear. Great. Why don't you go talk to him? Um, okay. Nadia, come with me. Sure! Hey, Jude! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> hey, Jude. Wow. Um. <clears throat> hey, I forgot your name! I'm Nadia. Yeah, sorry! Kind of a jerk. Not really my choice of personality. He's not a human. He shouldn't have a problem remembering our name. If he really did have an internal error, he probably wouldn't acknowledge it. Maybe he's just making a show of not caring about another girl? This is my friend, Autumn. Hey! <laughs> I've noticed you! Gag me right now. Not like that either.